Hello everyone, I'm back with another how-to video. We saw someone ask uh, how to change the tickets, the amount of tickets in Battlefield 2. And I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Because there are a lot of tutorials out there that say you can change the uh, init file or uh, game settings file in uh, documents or change each file and each level individually. We're going to do none of that. We're going to skip all of that. We're just going to go straight to the codes that uh, alters the amount of tickets, which for some reason people don't show or don't find. I don't know why, but we're going to go straight to it. So I'm going to click this away and we're going to go to library. Right click Battlefield 2, access the local files over here. Yeah. Now, if you have the, if we go to the mods folder here. And if you have the normal game and you haven't watched any of my previous videos, then you do not have the 64 player maps available. If you don't, then this how to video is not for you. Watch that previous video first. I'll have a link in the description. Um, now, if you do, you access this folder, uh, which gives you the bigger maps. And in here you go to Python and game. And then game modes. And you have this file here, GPM CQ Pi. We'll open that with Notepad or with Notepad. Uh, if you open it with Notepad, click Open With and then Notepad. I'm doing it with Notepad. It's a nice free software. Now, this all looks really complicated, but don't worry about it. We're going to scroll down a bit until we see this line. This won't be the same for you. It's this line you're looking for. If you can't find it, you press Control F and this will pop up. You'll, you'll type in system here or ticket and it's gonna look for it and it's, it's gonna find it. Once you found it, you'll notice that these two lines are not the same for you or these uh, four lines. Uh, it's because I've already changed them and I haven't been able to change them back in a way to show you what yours looks like. But I know for a fact that yours looks different. Why is this so important? Oh, you can see it. It, it specifically literally says tickets team one is 10,000. Tickets team two is 10,000. Usually it would have calculated the amount that each level has. But we're, we're going to skip that. How did I do that? I put one of these hashtags behind there. So it becomes a notation instead of a, a command. Okay, if you've done that, you can save it and you can start the game. If you're unable to do all this, then I will put a link in the description with this file so you can download it yourself. Then all you have to do is go to your folder in Steam, on Battlefield, Mods, the same process. Go to the, the bf 2 all 64 folder, Python game, game modes. Then you would delete this file and replace it with the one you could download for me. Either one does the same. Either you download it and you have the same file for me, or you copy these exact lines by typing it in in your keyboard. All right, assuming you've done both uh, one of those steps, we can start up the game. You could select any of these maps and they're all going to have a lot of tickets because we changed the default amount of tickets each map has instead of changing each map individually or changing some settings that don't do anything. This is the right way to do it, in my opinion. <laughs> We're going to see, right? And there we have it. Oh, that's not 10,000, but 9,999 is the limit. I'll play a little bit. Now the game is a lot longer now. You could put that number to anything you like. Put it to 1000, put it to 2000. 1000 is a lot. Or sorry, 10,000 is a lot. Um, this game could take hours. If, if my team or the team you're on is not able to take all the outposts. 
has significantly decreased our score, then it's it's gonna take hours. So just put it to a few thousands, you know. Otherwise, you might just not enjoy yourself anymore. I don't know. It's a uh, personal thing. I wonder where the helicopter went. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm glad I jumped out. That's it gonna be <laughs> gonna be it for today, people. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. You yeah, have a wonderful day. All right, bye.